All right, guys, this is how it looks from the back. Let me show you the charge controller. Like I said earlier, this thing has to be mounted. And this side, this plate here, is going to help it just like a thing to hold it, not to, um, to be firm. But you can see the, the charge controller itself. I can move it a little bit here. You can see that gap. So it, it latches right on the thing here. Take a look. Then it's going to go right on the metal. So it's holding it from falling back this way. But forward is going to go. But I'm going to be putting a screw here that holds it all the way to the board. So, guys, this is the thing. And it's going to be a more clearance here because if you can see on the side, it's more airflow. So instead of mounting it to a um, mounting device, so it's going to be more airflow because of the space of this one. This one's going to attach to the wall or it's going to attach to the uh, the sheetrock or whatever it is, um, the wood that is going to be on the plywood or whatever. But that's how it's going to look like. And um, more clearance here. The reason why, oh, I was going to mention that. The reason why I didn't mount it on the other side, you want to mount your charge controller on the right-hand side of the box. Here, this is how it looks like on the right-hand side of the box. Doing so, you can help the MOSFET because the, all the MOSFETs are here. That's why they put a turbo fan here on this side. So you can see here, this is a heat sink, and here is a cooling system, which is the, the turbo fan. So you wanna you don't want to place this one on the side of the wall of the MMP250 because um, it's not going to dissipate the heat well. So put it on the right-hand side, and that side is okay. This side here is okay. The MOSFETs are all here, so you don't want to go through a lot of... Um, uh, fiasco about the entire um, overheating stuff so this is how it looks from the front guys look at that it's pretty huh she looks beautiful and take a look yeah this is the way I think you should mount it you can mount it the way you want but this is the way because I mentioned because of the uh, the MOSFET and more cooling has to be uh, done. Cooling has to be done in this situation. And uh, it's going to be an um, awesome look with this metal being up and running. And this is just fantastic. All right. I hope you guys like what you see. And we are live here at the command center of the JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more to come. Love you guys all. Like and subscribe. Bye. All right, this is what it is. I'm going to put the cover now and take a look how it's going to look like. Beautiful. And I have the battery temperature sensor here, the BTS. And it's going to just sit right in here before the time for the install and uh, the connection here for the charge controller the wire is getting in there attached to the solar positive and the negatives gonna be right here tie the negative here for the charge controller and the positive for the PV the negative for the PV comes here and it drives all the way to the shunt and the shunt is going to be taking care of business right there. And uh, this is what it is. And one thing that left is the AC wiring. Stay tuned for that because we're going to run AC wiring all the way to the input here for the AC. AC in and out. It comes here. The AC in and out in here. And you're going to be having the AC external in and out so this is going to come from the inverter from here they're going to feed all over here and we're going to be having here that time we're going to be having the breakers to operate well and we're going to feed the input and the output you see them right there for the ac in and out 
and a neutral ground here. So just tie here the charge controller and the negative, then it's neutral, and so that the shunt will be reading all the power that is coming in and the positive for the solar from here, okay, is gonna tie into here that um, because the battery is gonna be here. The battery terminal is here, the positive, the battery negative terminal is going to be right here on the shunt. So this is the bus bar positive where you can write all your positive in your charge controller side in here. And the PV is going to tie it here and which is going to go to the breaker. So you can feed how many PV wires coming in, in here and comes to the um, in, out, go to the breaker here. This is um, uh, uh, um, a DIN rail. It's going to go to your breaker input from the bottom and the output of it, the output of that goes back to the charge controller because, sorry, the positive from the batteries that come from your batteries will be here from the charge controller, sorry. From the charge controller outside is gonna go in here. That's why you tie the batteries, and this is for the negative for the uh, positive for the PV, and goes back to the breaker for the solar. Okay, it goes right there, and out goes to the charge controller. So it's coming in, out, in to the charge controller. And it's coming out, the it is DC out, going to the charge controller. The, the DC out here, take the power, so you can power your charge controller. And then you can take the power from this guy. It's going to reverse and go back and feed into the um, the batteries to charge your batteries. So it's just a, 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 I think it's a reciprocal. Yeah, so it's a process. Okay, I hope I, I explained that way. If I, I really confuse myself, I just because of too much work here. So, the DC part of this, which is the battery, here, okay, the battery positive, to turn the charge controller on, and a negative here, because the part negative of the battery is going to be here, and it, charge, it turns the charge controller on. Okay, that's how it pulls the power, it, 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 it sends the power back in and out from the solar. So the solar, you feed the power on the solar, it comes right here and tied up to this. Okay? All right. I hope I get it right. But uh, I know what I'm talking about. You just wait. If you think you're confused or maybe you think I'm confused, well, I was want to tell you that. Um, making this video, I have a really headache, but I want to get it done, but, um, I know what I'm talking about and just wait and see exactly how it's going to be live at the command center of the JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. Bye for now. Wish you a blessed day and stay tuned for more to come. This system is going to go live sooner or later. Bye.